three different ways to solve this one. So let's go through all three of them. Uh, the most obvious way to go about it is what we've talked about a few times, and that is equivalent to which of the following tells us that if we can plug in a value for x, then we'll be able to uh, get a solution from that. And then from there, we want to see which one of these answer choices will give us that same answer <laughs> when we plug in the same number for x. Uh, uh, by that standard, uh, A and B are eliminated from the group. So um, because this is, could be a long video, I'm not going to actually do that because there's so many other examples where we have that. But what I will let you know is that you want to think about X being uh, 2. That way you're uh, dividing by um, a number that's 5. And 5 is an easy number to divide by. And it ends up turning out that when you plug in 5 for uh, X, you end up with 8 over 5 uh, after you simplify this whole thing and you uh, look through here and we see which one gives us eight over five, definitely not A, definitely not B. And then uh, C, uh, we look at that and two over, uh, what was it? I'm sorry, so we, we know that this is gonna be two. So that becomes five minus two over five. And when you were to turn these into fractions and ultimately you see that doesn't work out, but D will. Second way you want to go about this is to treat this like the division problem that it is. It is a fraction. So another thing that we want to be thinking about is that we have uh, a, a fraction or division uh, problems in disguise. And that means that we want to write it as 5x minus 2 divided by x plus 3. We ask ourselves, how many times does x go into 5x? The answer is 5. And then we're going to subtract by uh, 5 outside of x plus 3, and we're going to subtract that by the uh, what we see here. So negative 5 times x, that becomes negative 5x. Negative 5 plus 13, that becomes uh, negative uh, 15. And then we're going to add these together. And you know that you want to add them because ultimately we want these terms to cancel out. And then you have negative 17, and that is actually our remainder. And whenever you're dividing polynomials, uh, your remainder goes over the uh, original number that you're dividing by. So this gets listed as uh, negative 17 over x plus 3. And then you're adding these two terms. But since you're adding a negative, it's the same as subtracting by that amount, which gives us D. Now, the last way to go about it, I really recommend that you practice this, even if it's not how you naturally go about it, because it just puts you through the motions that the SAT expects us to know, because it's about thinking the way they do. If unfortunately, however you want to take that phrase, that is the, the way that the SAT is. And the way to factor it is we can write this out as 5x minus 2, its original problem, we'll write it out, plus 3, and I'm actually, uh, oh, that is an ugly 3. I'm going to actually move this down here so I have a little bit more room uh, to do this problem. And what I think about is, well, what can I do to uh, make this one more factorable? And really what it comes down to is if you don't get it right away, then don't, don't worry about it. But what we're practicing that's good here is by rewriting 5x plus 15 and then again, minus 15. So we're just putting, we're gonna put that right into the middle. I even put it in orange here so that it's clear that that's what we're adding into the equation here. So minus two over x plus three. The reason that we wanna do plus 15 minus 15 is this together equals zero. So we're actually not adding anything to the overall equation. But what it will let us do is factor this where now this will turn into five outside of x plus three. And the reason that's helpful, uh, and then we'll combine these two terms here. So you end up with 5 outside of x plus 3 minus 17. And the reason that this is helpful is now we can re... Oh, this is all over x plus 3. Is that we can rewrite this binomial, these two terms separated by subtraction, as their own set of fractions over x plus 3 minus... And then that becomes 17 also over x plus 3. But then these cancel out and you're just left with 5 minus 7 over x plus 3, which gives us d. This doesn't get too oftenly used, but being able to practice this, the idea of adding in numbers to start creating the ability to reorganize the information in a way that will allow you to cancel out a denominator is a really good practice 
uh, session to have and skill to build.